Welcome to Evergreen e-learning app. In this video, we will talk about three approaches to programming that is procedural, modular and object oriented. So let's begin. Open notepad. Create a class, class sum. So I'll uh, demonstrate procedural programming first by taking an example of sum of two numbers. So public static void main string here and uh, I'll take three integers int a comma b comma c I'll initialize the first two a equals 20 b equals to 30 and c equals to a plus b so this is the logic of the program c equals to a plus b and then I can print the answer system dot out dot print ln the sum is C. So this is the string part. This plus operator is used to concatenate here and this C is the variable containing answer. So this is the output statement end of main method and end of class. So this is the simplest program you can have for sum of two numbers. So what you can do now go to file save as choose any folder in E or D drive where your Java programs are being stored. Quotes sum dot java if you don't want to put quotes you can always choose all files so if you are at text document you can always use quotes better practice so sum dot java save so there was another file i have replaced it so let's see how to run this go to cmd go to e drive e colon then cd icsc9 my folder name and then java c space file name what is the file name sum dot java so as it is successfully compiled now what can i do i want to interpret so java space sum as you can see the sum is 50 so 20 plus 30 your answer is 50 now you can see what is the output shown on the screen this thing the sum is and then the result only you can see the result c's value that is 50 so i hope you have understood the procedural way let's understand the same program through another approach that is the modular approach so go to file new class sum to public static void main string here this is the main method and you have to create another method now so you can create a method by following the syntax return type int any type you can take sum int a comma int p so those who are new to programming this is very easy you have to assume a method name we have assumed sum you have to take a return type return type means what type of value this function will return or this method will return and these are the arguments you want to supply to the method right if you want to sum three numbers you can pass three arguments here now we are adding only two numbers so that's why i have mentioned only two integers what can i do here i can return a plus b so it's as simple as that so this is a method and this is the end of class now this is one method you have created in your class which is your method and this is called as user defined method and now you can call this how to call just put a static keyword here i'll tell you why i've used this but to explain modular approach i'm using it right now so how to call this method i'll just go to main and call this method as sum 2 comma 3 so 2 is integer, 3 is also integer. What can I do? I can always store this call to a variable. So int result equals to sum 2 comma 3. And then the print system dot out dot print ln the sum is arius. So isn't it easy? The same thing you have done, but now you have created a module, a method 
same way you can create methods for multiplication subtraction division and you can create a whole calculator here we'll show you through applets how to create a calculator also so don't worry and uh, let's uh, save and run this program go to file save as sum2.java go to cmd cls to clear the screen java c sum2.java so as you can see there is no error in the file if there would have been an error this compiler must have reported now let's see how the compiler reports an error so let's say i took this string as small s and now i have saved this file and i go to my cmd and i compile this file so this will raise an error now so you can see the error error cannot find symbol s small string string is a class in java you have to take s capital so your compiler will give you a lot of errors when you are uh, attempting to write your first programs and uh, I means first set of programs and you have to take care of this case sensitivity all uh, things that are in capital case must be written in capital case and those uh, things which are in uh, lower case must be written in lower case so string s is capital so i have taken s capital now save go to smd again compile the file java c sum to dot java and now you can type java which is interpreter space sum to enter the sum is 5 2 3 3 will always give you 5 so i hope you have liked the video and you have understood the concept of modular and the procedural approach let's see the third approach where i have created a module or you can say a function or a method so this is a method having name as sum return type as int and two arguments which you will pass to add two numbers so let's see how to do that so first of all first thing that you have to do to call a method of a class is to create the object how to create the object the syntax is this class name object name equals to new constructor so let's create here so class name is first object name any name so i am taking obj so you can take any name ram sham mohan anything so first obj equals to new new is a operator which allocates memory so first obj equals to new and then the constructor constructor i'll tell you how to create a constructor what are different types of constructor just after two three videos so this is called as object creation or instantiation right so now you have the object obj is your object now how to call the method to call the method the syntax is object name dot method name so what is the object name obj so obj dot what is the method name sum so obj dot sum what you need to pass to call this method you need to pass two values so you are passing 15 comma 20 let's say so what is 15 it's a integer what is 20 it's a integer but what is the nature of these argument these are called as actual arguments and what is x and y they are called as formal arguments now what will happen 15 will be x and 20 will be y so 15 20 x plus y what it will be 35 so 35 will be returned to this call so now what can you do here 35 value is returned to this call and what you can do you can always store this into a variable so you can create int answer you can create int result you can create int x y z anything you can have in this module and then you can say system dot out dot print ln the sum is so this is object oriented programming where you are calling a method 
with the help of an object you are passing values to the method method is being called sum is computed and is being returned to the call now computed answer is stored into a variable and that variable is finally printed as the answer so i hope you like the video let's see some other aspects of basics of programming so guys in this video i'll tell you how to save the java program what is source code what is class code or byte code or intermediate code and what are the tools to run your java program so this is your source code and this file must be saved as file name dot java so what can be the file name file name can be any name but it is recommended that you must use the class name of that class in the whole file which is containing the main method so i'll repeat again you have to take the file name as the name of the class which is containing the main method so in this case our file name must be first dot java so this is your file name now how to run this and how to compile this first and how to run this so the compiler in java is called as java c so java c is your compiler and how to run this java c you can go to your cmd command prompt and can set the java path if you don't know how to set the java path we have given a complete video on it you can see that so java c space first dot java so when you have this statement and you can just enter it this command will run and will give you first dot class first dot class this is called as byte code this byte code is the output of compilation and once you have that byte code you can always execute it by using another tool called as java this is called as interpreter in java so java space byte code name so what is byte code name first when you hit enter this code will execute and your main method will start executing and then the program's output will be shown on the cm so i'll repeat it in another method that first of all you will be having some a dot java file then when you will compile it with java c what it will give it will give you a dot class this is byte code when you will execute this with java you will get your output so this is the whole picture you have in front of you source code compiler byte code interpreter and then output thank you so much we'll continue with some more interesting videos on java